Guys, here's why you should never break your AirPods. I mean, it's kind of like common sense. Of course, nobody wants to break uh, their products, but I'm talking about the insane repair costs of the AirPods. And the thing is, the reason for that is that the AirPods are kind of small and hard to repair. I'm going to talk about that later on, but for now, I want to show you a couple of Apple support conversations that people had in the past with their support team regarding some repairs, which are kind of ridiculous to be honest, which means that one user uh, that actually reported that, well, they had a problem with their AirPod, as you can see, they wanted to like fix them, fix the AirPods, and they told him that the rate to, uh, or how much they charge for repair is 250 US dollars. And if you probably know for that price, you can easily get a new AirPods. Like you can see, uh, just like the user has reported and replied that you can actually buy a new pair of AirPods for the price that it would take to repair the AirPods. So Apple has of course just charged the price obviously to make you want to buy a new pair instead of you uh, wasting time with the, uh, with the repair. It wasn't just a mistake, some other users on Reddit, as you can see right here, reported the same thing. And you can see that uh, they were charged $185 plus 17 for the tags, which is which is a lot to repair the AirPods when essentially they cost just as much to purchase brand new. So it's like a common thing and it's probably a strategy on why Apple wants you to do it. Well, the reason why I think that Apple is doing that is because these AirPods are kind of small and very small and very hard to repair. And for them as a company, they cannot outright tell you that once you break your AirPods, you're done or once they stop working, there's nothing you can do about it only to buy a new pair of course they need to have some kind of replacement program and they need to be able to repair it but they're gonna charge you so much that you don't even care about it anymore and you can buy a brand new pair it's easier for them although it's not very friendly for uh like of course the, the sustainability but uh, this is probably their strategy. They know that it's totally absurd to pay the whole price for AirPods just to get them repaired, but they charge it anyway, and you can only do one of two things. You can either pay the full price for the repair program and have your old AirPods, or buy a brand new pair, which would make much more sense. This only applies to the small AirPods because, uh, as you know, the AirPods Max are much bigger and uh, those should be able to be repaired in a better way. They shouldn't be that expensive to like um, get them done or get them repaired. And also the AirPods Max are kind of expensive for $550 to begin with. So chances are that it's never going to be as much to uh, like let them like replace some kind of faulty part. Yeah, they're not going to charge you the full price of $500 to uh, get the AirPods Max working again. It mostly applies to these smaller AirPods, but it doesn't matter if you have the second gen or the pros, first or second. It's pretty much the same thing. They are all really small and it's really hard if you think about it to repair them properly. So this is what Apple is currently doing. Pretty much AirPods are designed to be disposable. They cannot be opened or repaired easily. And that's pretty much the business model, I guess. And it's just what other people have noticed too. And uh, of course, if you ask the people in the uh, Apple store, they cannot tell you anything else. They also know that this is kind of weird, but this is pretty much all they can do. So it costs Apple more just to attempt the repair than to sell you new ones. So this is just how it works. It's really hard to open them and repair them. So I just wanted to let you know about that. I think that a lot of people use AirPods and it's kind of an important topic. So yeah, for more videos about Apple devices and other important stuff like this, make sure to subscribe to Foxtech devices and check out this video right here. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.